Um, Instagram, a wrestling historian says, hypothetically, if you ran for office, would you rather be congressman, senator, or governor? Thanks in advance. Probably a senator. Which state would you want to represent? Would you stay where you are, or would you no, want to go back to I, Michigan? No, I, I, I would. I, this is too red. Maybe you could change all that. I think they'd get behind you. I think. I think you could cross over. I think you could. You could bring everyone together. I don't know. I'm 63 years old. Too I young. Said, too old. <laughs> no. It's a, too, yeah. Come too on, young. Mitch. Come on. Yeah, no, it's, it's, I tell you, man, you, you, you get to be 63 years old and it's just like, you get a call for it for eight episodes of a sitcom and you're like, where? During the winter? I don't think, we well, don't even know what the offer is. Let me get an offer first. I don't think I want to be up any place where it's snowing for 11, 12 weeks. If you went back to Michigan for something like this, what would be your priority items to straighten out in Congress? Well, I, I mean, Michigan Michigan did a, a complete sweep with with the, Yeah. The, But uh, but issues like issues. What would what would you want to tackle? It's gotten to the point where if if we have to do something with with the when the number one cause of, of death of our, of our of our children is 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 uh, being shot. It's guns. Yeah. No, I mean it's just I don't, I just don't think uh, that. That was what our forefathers had in mind. No, and it's very clear what they had. When it's servicing a well-regulated militia, not even a militia. I'm not talking about seven yeah, chick- it, chicken it, wing eaters in yeah, the woods. Because I, 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 I read it today. I read this. It says nowhere on it that they, it's to arm a disgruntled Walmart employee. Right. You know. So yeah, we hit like, our 602nd uh, uh, mass, mass shooting, mass shooting today. Yeah. No, I think I think that's a that's a huge problem. Um, to me, to actually do something besides lip service for the middle class, mm. you know, yeah, like when, when when there are so many people that like got behind the red wave, and you would sit there and you'd say, you know, they want to get rid of Social Security and Medicaid, right? Yeah, I know. It really didn't. And they would so and they, many of the people. And they would be like, voting. they would be like, what? I'm like, well, like, where did you, where did you hear that from? I'm like, do you not, do you, I mean, what do you, do you just, what you vote, just you go in and you see an R and you just vote for it. Like, I don't know about anybody else, but when you get a mock, ballot i'm sorry man i don't know anything about these judges so i've got to google and do whatever research i can on you know especially when it, like these judges are going i mean oh i don't know i just I just yeah what do you did you go by their name like what made you vote for they trust in their party, and it's it's not just one side. I tr- you know, my party, right or wrong, has become a a philosophy. And uh, you know, we had my country right or wrong for a long time. Now it's my party right or wrong. Uh, 